Hi there, once again on Google Cloud, like welcome to this lab. Today we're gonna be talking about creating a pipeline data. Right here, I have uploaded a couple of files, CSV files. Then you're going to use data prep by three factor as you can see it takes a while to allow all the things to be working on here you can okay import your set of data from bigquery or the storage okay also it could be drag and drop files here you can see you can upload files to be tapped as your data a set of data okay let's come in from this I'm gonna choose these files. Okay. It's loading my files. Preview is not available, no problem. Let's continue. I click it there. Now we are going to create a flow. Already created. Because it can remain it. No matter the name. Okay, what are we going to do now? We are going to create a reduce. Let's do, put those things here down. Let's create a reduce, add a receipt. Sorry. And you're going to add it. We can preview the data we have here. Let's add the receipt. As you can see here, have a couple of data, couple of few data with a few columns. Okay, perfect. If you'd like to join, for example, if you also would like to create a um, new, let's say, formula. Okay, I can put like now. I'm gonna call it this common time stamp, I could call it. For example, time stamp add. So we can move the columns with each other. Okay, let's go back to the flow. From here. I want to join yes this were editing wait let me. Friday let's put Monday I want to join you're going to recognize the columns to have the the inner stop the join so you can see next so we are joining those values perfect that I would like I want to add those columns to you Okay, in case that's not what we'd like to do, let's cancel this from this one. Okay, there is my receipt. Perfect, let's be back here. We just added a column. And I want to have a union from Friday with Monday. Okay. Perfect. Let's add the odd set of data.
Then it's gonna see we have a, a mismatch with columns. No match, no problem, you can see. This is my set of data now. You can see from the Friday I have the timestamp and from the other I don't have. No problem. Here's one thing. Now let's add the receipt. So this is my data, so I have my owner and a job identifier, okay, and here I have job attributes with the identifier, okay. So what we do now, okay, let me see. Just again the data for previewing. So I have the job identifier and I have the jobs attributes. And from the jobs, okay. In case here, from the, the identifier of the job, we could identify also here. No worry about the columns, it's just for matching, just to show. So we are going to join jobs attributes. Yeah, that's all I'd like to. Mm, yeah. Wait, job identifier is identifier. Fine. Want to keep it. So add to receipt. And now. I will make a join with jobs execution Friday. So the error is going to be now it's going to match with columns should be matching. Job identifier is job identifier next. Let's add to the receipt. So now we have the start and execution, the status outcome. We have uh, the reg X and for each job, right, job number one job identifier, job number one, as this red Greg X, and to receive. Also, we can add it.
right here we have our steps if you'd like to group by to do a summary max whatever pretty simple to create new columns for example i don't want to see any id table Can differentiate that from the timestamp. Let's also remove this. Okay. Now let's go back to Apache Bing. This is something we did. Group by pivot, whatever. Can filter. If you just click here, success or failure. If you just click here, adds the where condition, I would say to the where is success. Okay. You can format, can create new tables, whatever. Functions, filter, object array, convert values to columns, group by, create column, format, merge, split, count, match, extract. It's, you can choose a target and check the, and create macros, that thing I never done. Okay, so let's come in here and create an output. Output to run. Quick clubs, jobs run, job owner, CSV. To run the pipeline, no matter it is, yeah. Run it. And film, it's able to say it's a way to run data flow. Data flow is gonna run this pipeline, okay? Data prep is the, the way to visualize you interact with data and create the pipeline, the, the logic and stuff, the other, uh, other process is gonna be running on data flow. The easy explanation. Kind of a wrangle data flow, wrangle data flow. Hewitt. Here's your pipeline. Takes a while. I don't like to do long videos, but it's gonna be longer. It's gonna be a while, 20, 20 around minutes, like 25 minutes. Pretty simple, I just separated them.
It's getting green. Well, out of the blue. Running, running, and running. I could do that with the, there's data preparation. Green. To the last, it must be green. And another video is going to be doing the pipeline with the Python with pandas, etc. Here I'm going to say that it takes a while to be refreshing. It's nice here that there's no refresh. JSON files. It's split the files, there's a configuration, it's already completed. Here you just see this progress. Here we go. It splits in three files, three files. Well, that's all I'd like to share. Thanks for watching. If you didn't understand, please let me know. Nice. Who ran the pipelines? Ronald Reagan, D.Y. Eisenhower, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Trump. And the others. Make it download. And JFK, Washington, and Roosevelt. The best press of America ever. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Uh, if you have any doubt, let me know. Bye bye.